hi guys what's good welcome back to my youtube channel this is your baby antoinette thank you so much for stopping by you guys and yeah if you're new here then this is antoinette that's salon babe i had on my glasses to be honest i was trying to look pink for this video because i don't know if you can tell but my hair is my hair is just a mess this hair is one month plus right now and i just can't wait to take it down but yeah we're just going to film this video with it before taking it down okay let's get right into this video because i don't want it to be too long at all i just came back from work i feel tired i slept for an hour but it's definitely not enough okay i had to force myself to get up and film this video before we get into this video i want to say thank you to every one of you that reached out to sarah my friend okay lots of people sent her messages and all of that people reached out to her supported her you know i appreciate you guys we're well, talking ladies so that is why i'm sitting right here on this bed because this is this is big woman business okay so we talk in the bedroom okay so you guys this is just going to be brief quick and straight to the point so i have been taking pills and if you've been following me on this channel then you already know this but i think about a year six months or a year eight months i honestly can't remember dates i'm bad with those things like i don't know i honestly can't remember dates but i believe it's between one year six months to one year eight months since i stopped taking the pills so a quick backstory is when we got married of course the ogs already know this story but i have to say if it's your first time here okay so I started taking pills because I was not one of those people that really wanted to fall pregnant immediately after getting married, okay? I was just out of university, fresh from school. So I got married in December of 2018, but then I finished school in... Um, I graduated in June of that same year. June 2018, I graduated. Then we got married in December of 2018. So I was just like, babes can you please give me a little chill time you know just just a little bit of chill time so that i can at least secure a job you know get busy so that i can be going and coming and you all know that my husband works in both so staying at home full time was not a choice for me because it would just mean me alone okay and that loneliness was not what i was looking for i like my alone time a lot but i just wanted something to you know get me out in the morning then i come back in the evening and all that so i was just like let me get a job and get something going i don't want to fall pregnant asap and that was just it so i talked to him my husband and he was not into it for the first time he was just like how is that possible how can a married woman be taking pills da, 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 and all of those things but being the african man as expected okay he's an african man what do you expect they want to just hit as soon as you get married so i was at least able to you know make him see reasons okay to allow me get a job and all of those things before you know making a family so i was on the pills <laughs> what did he can do <laughs> oh, like I make a feel oh, 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 oh. no another one said i don't want speaker are you know says can't see this why can't I have privacy? Let me go. I know Angie Jabia. Ah, so you guys, let's get serious, okay? We were really, really into it before somebody really interrupted. But anyway, <laughs> what are do you? I'm listening. I want to know what is what you're talking about. Okay, so um some way somehow we managed to see reasons and i was just flowing with my pills and then i can remember i think six months or one year yeah he told me i should stop taking the pills because you know he he's experienced dude is just too experienced over experienced it was like if you know you want to get pregnant at a b and c time then this is the right time for you to stop taking the pills because you just can't stop immediately and fall pregnant but i was just so sure because you know you know when you are sure of yourself eh? 
I was like, no, I know I will get pregnant immediately after I stopped taking the pills. So I was just not listening to all of those things. I was just going with the flow. I thought if I, if I stopped taking the pills this month, then that would be it. I'll fall pregnant. I didn't know it was very, very difficult to get pregnant. So here I am, one year, six months, one year, eight months. I can't say exactly because, like I said, I don't remember the date. But I have stopped taking that pill. So the point that I have done a few things okay so um doing research i have realized that um some people go to the hospital to check if their tubes are blocked or not i have done that i don't know how it is called i don't know if it is the hcg or hsg do you remember that is too good tubalization I, I'll write it on the screen, you guys. I don't remember. So, I think that was early last year that I went for that. So, doing my research online, I realized that you need to go to the clinic because for some people, the tubes might be blocked or something. So, you need to go to the hospital so that they can do a test wherein they... I don't know how it's called anyway, but they use the the dye i don't know if it's a dye but that's how they explain it but they use some kind of liquid to pass it through your tubes just to know if your tubes are blocked or not okay so you just pass the whole thing into your vagina and then into your fallopian tubes to tell if your tubes are open and then if they are not they will further they will do further procedures to unblock them but then if it's okay then it's okay so i did that test that was the first step for me Immediately after I stopped taking the pills, I think a couple months, I went in to do that test just to be sure that my tubes were okay and they were just okay. The doctor was like, the tubes are all open, they are okay. So he just prescribed some drugs that I took afterwards. And after that test, after taking those drugs, it was still just the same thing. Nothing changed. And lots of people advised that I do the cleaning the dnc cleaning people were like after taking pills for some time the best thing for you to do is for you to go for a cleaning so that they can just get rid of all of the the remnants of the pills in your system and all of that but i have always been skeptical about that cleaning stuff i mean i know people do it and it works for them but lots of other people have complaints lots of other people have issues with it lots of people say negative things people have gone for cleaning and then after that it's like it's just very very difficult for them to conceive so i was just like mm, do i really want to go get this done and aside from the fact that people have negative things to say about the dnc the fact that I have been watching videos, that's the thing. I believe with people that are not on social media, they get things done easily, they are not afraid. But then when you are into Google, when you are into YouTube, Facebook, like, you just search for things and then you increase the fear, okay? When you go to Google and search about these things, what they will tell you, you just panic. Like, when I watch YouTube videos about how um, DNC cleanings are done, I was like... Do I really want to go through that pain? Because every comment you'll read under the videos, it's just painful. You'll bleed. It's painful. You'll bleed. I'm like, hmm. how am I going to put myself? You know, let me laugh. I'm done. Talk too much. Why do you talk too much? Mm -hmm. Take some ginger beer. Thank you. Ginger beer on set. So with all of those things, I was just not sure. I mean, there is, there is a chance that you'll succeed after doing the cleaning. But there is also a chance that it will take longer for you to conceive after the cleaning. So why do I want to put myself through the pain? Even though I know, like I don't expect the results to be okay 100% if you get me. So if it was really certain that as soon as you do the cleaning, then you'll fall pregnant, then possibilities are i would have just considered doing it okay and i have come to the realization that um we are all different okay lots of people are different for some people they stop taking pills today tomorrow they are pregnant 
for some people they stop taking pills one year down the line they, they don't get pregnant for some people it's just months so everybody is just different and if you if you meet medical people that are really saying the truth because one thing again we face here i don't know if it's happening elsewhere is the fact that um we just walk into these clinics and ask for a certain um how is it called now back control so people will just walk into the clinic and be like i want my cocainone i want um the injection i want um the coil so people just go to these clinics and opt for what they want without being tested okay so um it's it's like a trial and error business okay when you walk into the clinic you take microgynon if it doesn't work for you if it, if it, if it has complications then you come back you change from microgynon to the injection if it doesn't work you come so it's like we're all guinea pigs okay other places they test you to know that this particular one can work but for us here you have to take it if you have complications you suffer them when you're done then you come to the hospital to change it into something else i have been like why did i even you know start taking pills because it has lots of complications if you don't experience in my case i didn't experience any of the issues like bleeding for some people when they take these things they start bleeding for some people they gain weight for some people they have mood swings for some people like all the negative effects okay i didn't experience any of those i didn't gain weight well maybe i would have been skinnier but <laughs> i don't know i didn't gain weight and i didn't have mood swings but then when i stopped taking the pills my body has taken too long to go back to normal if you get so yeah i just feel like maybe without that pill you know it wouldn't have taken this long if you get me you know sometimes i sit down and i'm like maybe you, you are responsible for all of these things because you started taking pills and they warned you but you never listened you thought it was easy like i i thought it was really really easy that's why i had to forget belly i thought it was easy people like when i see people just getting pregnant giving birth i'm like this is easy and you know when you're sure like i've never done anything silly like god does not create barren like you know, those are the things that people, people always say, God does not create barren, every woman is tactile and all of that. But then, when it happens to you, that is when you realize that you're in deep shit. Like, you start thinking, what is happening? Sometimes I'm like, okay, I know it will happen, but the time, I don't know. So what do I do? Just forget about it until it happens. Some days I'm like, hmm. I'll be turning 20 this in a couple of months. I think it's high time. What do I do? Should I go to the hospital? Should I go to this new hospital? And another thing, like I don't have the courage to keep going to the hospital. That is a big problem for me. Like, you know, when you go to the hospital, like you stay the whole of the day. When you go to the hospital, just know that every other thing is cancelled. You stay there for the whole of the day. That is something I struggle with. Like the time to go spend the whole day at the hospital. It's just too much for me. I think about it and I'm like, is this something I want to do with my life? Is this just something I want to do with my life? Why can't I just, you know, relax and depend on God? I'm very big on depending on God for stuff. That is just who I am. I'm just always like let me just take it easy and know that with time this pill is going to come out of my body i don't need to go do cleaning because i'm scared of that cleaning that whole gnc thing like lots of people have commented that on this channel oh if you have been taking pills then the best thing is to go get yourself cleaned but in my head i'm like just what if i've just been like treat treat yourself you know Think about the healthy side of life drink more water do all the needful and then do the do very well do it very well very well okay so if we're ending this video then we're ending on just a few you know a few points that i really want you to take into consideration if you're considering um bad control of any any sorts just don't just don't take anyone i don't know but i feel like lots of people here in Sierra Leone do that we just walk into the clinics walk into the pharmacies and get what we want 
we don't really ask for these things to be tested so we don't know what the impact will be on our bodies because all of these things have their side effects and if you don't have like proper knowledge you'll just get yourself into a big mess i feel like i didn't have any knowledge not even proper knowledge i didn't have any knowledge of what i was going into i just knew this is a um, microgranone tablet it's going to prevent pregnancy for as long as you want as long as you take it daily so that is just it i don't know if i've been all over the place with this video i don't know if i've helped in any way i don't know if i've made sense in any way but that's about it i'll catch you guys in my next video